Hello, and welcome to the Carpal Tunnel Institute's Carpal Tunnel Syndrome Solution. People use this exact program every day of the year to remove and repair years and years of damage to their wrists, and now you are on your way to being our next success story. Now, you do not have to watch this introduction every time you perform our DVD. From the menu screen, you can simply select Begin the Program to jump right into the exercise. But if this is your first time watching, I have some important information for you. First, our program consists of two sections, a warm-up section and a stretching section. Now you must always do the warm-up section before stretching, even if you're doing our program for the second time in one day. In order to complete our program, you'll need only a chair to sit in. Ideally, use a chair that has armrests because some of the stretches that we do are easier to control if your arms are resting on an armrest. But if you don't have a chair with armrests, that's fine. And it's also fine if you don't even have a chair. Our program works just as well if you're sitting on the floor or even standing up. Now there are three important factors that will determine how successful this program is for you. The first is that you do all the stretches you're about to see for the same amount of time as I do them for. You can always pause the DVD and do them for longer if you feel that one in particular is stretching some especially tight area, but never do them for less time. Now the second factor is that you must follow this program according to the schedule printed on the piece of paper inside your DVD case. You can stop following the schedule whenever your wrist and hand pain is gone, but don't stop before that. And that's the third critical factor in determining whether or not this program will work for you. You cannot give up before giving these stretches the proper chance to help you. Your wrists are going to feel tired after the first day and that's completely normal. And while most people experience complete relief in three to six days, you may find that it will take you as long as a month. Just keep in mind that you're taking years of repetitive stress off your wrists, and a month to do all that work is a pretty short amount of time in the overall scheme of things. Now if during this program you have any more questions on any of these techniques, please use the contact information provided on the schedule or on the back of the DVD case to get in touch with us. Okay, now some of these stretches will be, well, a stretch. Stretching can be uncomfortable, but it should never hurt. If it hurts, you may be pushing too far. With practice, you will gain flexibility. And finally, I would like to say this. After our DVD fixes your wrist, we invite you to share your success story with us here at the Carpal Tunnel Institute. We never get tired of hearing those stories, and in fact, it's exactly what drives us forward in our passion of getting this message into the hands of everyone in the world who suffers from this potentially debilitating problem. So good luck and enjoy. To begin the warm up, bring your hands up in front of your chest and gently shake them up and down for 10 seconds. Imagine you're trying to dry your hands off after washing. Next, place your palms together, interlocking your fingers, and rotate your wrist 10 times in the clockwise direction. Now breathe deeply throughout the movement and remember to keep the other parts of your body relaxed. When doing these types of focused moves, it's easy to tense up your shoulders without realizing it, or arch your back. Now after 10, stop and go counterclockwise. And keep everything but your hands as still as possible. For the upcoming moves, we'll be doing some very targeted stretching, and when you're stretching one part of the body, you never want to bring tension to another part. So through this whole session, try to remember to relax your shoulders and keep a relaxed, neutral spine, and don't forget to breathe. Next, rest in your arms and your armrests, or just at your sides if you don't have a chair with armrests. Make loose fists and rotate your wrists outward 10 times. Your forearms should turn slightly with your wrists as you rotate and go slow. Make these circles as big as you can in order to actually feel a mild stretch in your wrists. You may increase or decrease the width of the circle depending on how flexible you are. The important thing is that you actually feel a stretch. After 10, reverse and rotate inward 10 times continuing to inhale and exhale. Breathing is a very important component of stretching. Stretching is an active form of exercise for your muscles, and it requires oxygen in order to break down the energy inside your body. And if you're not breathing properly, you will be depriving your muscles of the energy necessary to effectively achieve the stretch. 
Next, keeping your arms on your armrests or at your sides, move your arms forward so that your hands extend past your armrests. And now, with your palms facing down, make a loose fist with your hands. And then slowly open your hands, spreading your fingers and stretching your hand as wide as possible. And then slowly close your fist back into a loose stretch. Now repeat that 10 times. Now try to time your breathing with your movement, inhaling deeply through your nose and exhaling slowly. And with all the moves, for the best and most effective stretch, try your best to time your breathing with the movement. Try to inhale first prior to the stretch, and then exhale during the workout phase, like this. Next, turn your arms over, palms facing up with your fingers straight and together, and your thumbs pointed out to the side. And now inhale, and sweep your thumb across the palm toward the outside of your hand keeping it as straight as possible throughout the whole movement. And then repeat the movement in reverse, returning your thumb back to the starting position with your thumb pointed to the outside. And now repeat this whole movement 10 times. And then, keeping your arms on your armrests or at your sides, let your hands dangle in front of your armrests. And then raise your hands up from the wrist as far as they'll comfortably go while keeping your fingers straight. At the top, hold for a beat and then lower your hands down as far as they'll comfortably go, holding for a beat and then repeating the whole move 10 times. Now continue to breathe with good posture. And check that your shoulders are in a neutral, relaxed position. Now, turn your arms over, still resting them in your armrests so that your palms are facing the ceiling and that your hands are open. And starting with your pinky finger, you're going to want to try to slowly fold each finger in individually until all your fingers are folded into your palm. So slowly bring your pinkies in, and then your ring fingers, and then your middle fingers, and then your index fingers. And now reverse the move and unfold each finger starting with the index, and then middle, and then ring, and then pinkies. And I'll repeat this whole move five times. Now this is a difficult move. You may not be able to move each finger independently at first. Uh, the ring and pinky finger on my hands kind of feel like they're fused together. And it takes every ounce of strength I have to try to move them independently. Which as you can see, I am not very good at. But the more times you do our program, the better at this you're going to get and the more flexible you'll be. And as long as you're doing this as best as you can, the stretch is effective. So don't give up just because you're not good at it. Now we're going to do the same move again, only this time we're going to start with our index fingers and work in toward our pinky fingers. So index, middle, ring, pinky, pinky, ring, middle, index. Now remember to relax and breathe throughout the whole move. Just concentrate on folding each individual finger into your palm one at a time. This move is excellent for stretching the muscles not only in your fingers but all the way across the top of your hand and uh, deep down inside your wrists. It is a difficult move but it's great for getting all those muscles warmed up. And this move uses muscles in your hands that rarely get used so you should uh, really feel like you're waking your hands up in a way that they're probably not used to. Okay this is the last move of the warm-up. Uh, we're going to simply pull on each finger gently. So starting with the index finger on one hand, use the other hand to pull it out and hold it for about three seconds. And then proceed to the middle finger and so on. Now this should not hurt. If your knuckles pop easily, that's okay, but the goal is not to pop them. 
And when you're done with the first hand, just repeat the same process on the next hand. Your goal is just to pull slightly to create a tiny gap in between the joint and then release. It should feel good actually, at least it does for me. And as with most of the moves in this program, this is going to increase circulation in your hands and dispel any excess fluid that is built up in your joints. Okay, that's it for the warm up. Now, on to stretches. Okay, sitting up nice, straight and tall, place your open hands palm down on your lap. And now keep the upper part of your arms and shoulders loose and relaxed. Now open your hand as wide as possible for five seconds, stretching each finger as wide apart as you can. Now after five seconds, slowly bring your fingers back into your palm, make a loose fist, hold for a beat, and then repeat the flexion. And we're gonna do this for a total of five repetitions. Now continue to breathe. Toward the end of the stretch, you may feel a prickly sensation in your palms and in your fingers, and that's okay. The tingly, prickly sensation is blood being constricted uh, from the flexion and then flooding back into your hands once they relax. Now this will enhance circulation and bring new blood into those parts of your hand. Now flip your hands over so your palms are facing up and repeat the same move five times. Open your hands as far as you can, reaching your fingers as far away from each other as possible. And then slowly curl your fingers back into your palm and then slowly back out into the flexion again. Now keep your shoulders and arms relaxed just like before and continue to breathe. Okay, sit up nice and tall, relax your shoulders and bring your hands together in front of your chest. Inhale and exhale while you press your hands down toward your legs until you feel a stretch in your wrists. And push until you feel a good stretch, although it shouldn't be painful. If it hurts, back off because it doesn't have to hurt to help. Hold in that stretching position for a total of 15 seconds. Now to come out of this stretch, slowly move your hands up toward your face until you feel the stretch release. And now do the same thing one more time. Remember to keep breathing. This is a wonderful stretch because you're stretching your arms in many different places all at the same time. You're stretching your wrist most of all, but I'm sure you can also feel the stretch in your hands as well, and it's also stretching your forearms. Now to come out of it, just come up and you'll feel it release. Now bring your hands together again in front of your chest, just as before. And lower your hands into your lap until you feel that stretch. And then slowly rotate your hands down so your fingers are pointing toward the floor. This may be difficult for you, but just turn your hands as far as you can, feeling a mild stretch. After 15 seconds, come out of it nice and easy. Take a little break, and then let's do it one more time. If you're able to do this stretch all the way, your fingertips will point toward the floor. Either way, don't forget to breathe. I know some of these stretches require all your concentration to perform, and it's easy to lose track of your breathing. And when you're done, come out of it nice and easy. Okay, return one more time into that prayer position. Bring your palms together again in front of your chest. And now, using your right hand, push your left hand back toward your left elbow until you feel a nice stretch in your left wrist, hand, and forearm. Hold that stretch for 15 seconds total. Now be mindful of your posture here. You don't want to slump your chest in or allow your shoulders to droop forward. After 15 seconds, switch and use your left hand to push your right hand over for a 15 second stretch. Now concentrate on your breathing for these 15 seconds and keep your back straight and relaxed and your shoulders relaxed. Just let your hands do the stretching and you will get more flexible with practice. Once again, after 15 seconds, come up and out of it. 
Next, interlace your fingers like you're going to fold your hands together. And then in one fluid motion, bring your hands up and out to shoulder height while turning your palms to face out away from your face. Straighten your arms so there's no bend in your elbow. That's really important. And hold here for a total of 10 seconds while breathing. To release, bend your elbows and relax your hands into your lap for a second. Shake them out if you need to. Then, bring your hands back up for another 10 second stretch. Keep those elbows straight. After 10 seconds, come out of it, relax, you should be really tingly, shake them if you need to, and then do it one more time for a 10 second stretch. And remember to breathe. After 10 seconds, come out of it, relax or shake your hands. Now I'm going to do a sequence with you. It's three moves performed consecutively. First, extend your right arm in front of you at shoulder height with your palm facing the floor, keeping your elbow straight. And now, keeping your hand straight, bend your whole hand down at the wrist with your fingers and thumb pointing toward the floor. And then use your left hand to pull your hand in just a bit further to feel a nice, mild stretch in the top of your wrist. Hold this for 10 seconds. Next, keeping your arm in the same position, bend your hand up so your fingertips and thumb are pointing toward the ceiling. And then use your left hand, slowly pull back on your fingers and thumb to feel a nice stretch in the bottom of your hand and wrist. And you're gonna hold this for a total of 10 seconds. Okay, last move of the sequence. Keep your arm extended in front of you at shoulder height, but turn your hand over so your palm is facing the ceiling. And then with your left hand, pull your right fingers and thumb toward you until you feel a stretch in your wrist and the inside of your elbow. Hold this for another 10 seconds total. Now left arm. Extend your left arm in front of you at shoulder height and with your palm facing the floor, keeping your elbows straight. Now keeping your whole hand straight, bend your whole hand uh, down so your fingers and thumb point toward the floor. And use your right hand to pull your hand in just a bit further and you feel the same nice mild stretch across the top of your arm. And hold this for a total of 10 seconds. Okay, after that, keep your hand in the same position, but bend your fingers and thumb up toward the ceiling. Just like before, use your hand to pull your left hand back toward your left elbow and hold this for a total of 10 more seconds. Okay, last move of the sequence. Keep your shoulder nice and relaxed and your elbow straight. Turn your left hand over so your palm faces the ceiling. And then use your right hand to pull your left fingers and thumbs down so they point toward the floor until you feel a nice stretch in your wrist and the inside of your elbow. Hold this for a total of 10 seconds. After that, relax for a second. Now this sequence of stretches is very important. Be sure to relax your back and shoulders and your neck. We're gonna be here a while. We are repeating this whole sequence on each hand two more times. So remember to breathe and be sure not to tense up other parts of your body while you're doing these stretches. So, extend your right arm in front of you at shoulder height with your palm facing the floor, keeping your elbow straight. Bend your whole wrist and hand down so your fingers are pointing toward the floor. And then use your left hand to pull your hand in just a bit further until you feel that nice mild stretch again in the top of your wrist. And hold this for a total of 10 seconds. Then, keeping your arm in the same position, bend your hand up so your fingertips and your thumb are pointing back toward the ceiling again. Use your left hand to pull it in just a bit further so you feel that nice stretch in your wrist. And we're going to hold this for a total of 10 seconds. Okay, lastly, keep your arm extended in front of you, but turn your hand over so your palm is facing the ceiling. And then with your left hand, pull your right fingers and thumb toward you until you feel that same stretch in the bottom of your wrist and the inside of your elbow. 
Hold this for a total of 10 seconds. Remember to breathe. Okay, now again with your left hand. Extend your left arm in front of you at shoulder height with your palm facing the floor, keeping your elbow straight. Now bend your whole hand down so your fingers and thumb are pointing toward the floor. Use your right hand to pull it in a little bit until you feel that nice mild stretch in the top of your wrist. Hold this for a total of 10 seconds. Okay, next, keeping your arm in the same position, bend your hand up and point your fingertips toward the ceiling. Then use your right hand and slowly pull back toward the inside of your elbow to feel that nice mild stretch. And hold that for a total of 10 seconds. Okay, and finally, keeping your arm extended in front of you, turn your hand over so your palm is facing the ceiling. And then with your right hand, grab your fingers and thumb in your left hand and pull them down until you feel that nice stretch on the inside of your left wrist and elbow. Hold that for a total of 10 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna do the whole thing just one more time. So bring your right arm out at shoulder height, keep your shoulder relaxed and elbow locked, bring your fingers down until you feel that nice stretch and hold for 10 seconds. Focus on your breathing. Afterward, relax. Now point your fingers and thumb back up toward the ceiling. Use your left hand to pull your fingers back toward the inside of your elbow until you feel that nice, mild stretch. When that's finished, rotate your arms so your palms face in the ceiling. Pull your fingers and thumb down toward the floor and hold that stretch for 10 seconds total. After 10 seconds, switch to your left arm. Keep your arm out, shoulder height, shoulder relaxed, elbow straight. Bring your fingertips down toward the floor. Use your right hand to pull it in. Hold for 10 seconds. For 10 seconds, relax, then point your fingers and thumb toward the ceiling. Use your right hand to pull it in even further and hold for 10 seconds. And finally, rotate so your palm is facing the ceiling and use your right hand to pull your fingers and thumb back toward the floor. 10 seconds. For 10 seconds, relax, shake them if you need to. We're done with that section. Next, place your arms on your armrests or just bend your elbows at 90 degrees if you don't have armrests. Now open your hands so that your thumbs are pointing toward the ceiling and your palms are facing each other. And then tuck your thumbs into your palm and wrap your fingers around your thumbs. Now holding firmly onto your thumbs with your fingers, tilt your wrists forward away from your body. Tip them forward until you feel a stretch through your thumb and the side of your wrist and hold for 10 seconds total. After the first 10 seconds, release and just allow your wrist to come back toward you and relax for a beat and then go right back into it and hold for another 10 seconds. This is the second time and we're going to do a total of three. Don't forget to breathe. Relax for a second and then go right back into it. Last one, 10 seconds. Next, extend your arms out to shoulder height again with your shoulders relaxed and elbows straight and make loose fists with your hands. Your palms should be facing toward the floor. And from here, slowly rotate your wrists out away from each other until you feel a nice stretch on the thumb side of your wrist and a contraction on the pinky side of your wrist and forearm. The tops of your hands should still be facing the ceiling. I'll lower mine so you can see what this looks like. 
We're holding the stretch for 30 seconds. Now this is a very effective stretch for computer users. In fact, it is my favorite one. After 30 seconds, shake them out. Next, we're gonna get back into that same position with your arms at shoulder level, elbows straight, and your hands made into loosed fists. But this time, turn your palms up facing the ceiling. Inhale and exhale while slowly turning your wrists inward toward each other, keeping the tops of your hands pointed toward the floor. And we're gonna hold here for 30 seconds. Your knuckles will end up pointing toward each other. I'm gonna move mine down so you can see what it looks like. You should feel the stretch through the top of your hands, through your thumb, and well into your wrist and forearms. Continue to breathe the whole time. When you're finished, go ahead and shake it out if you need to. Once again, bring your right arm up to shoulder level, keeping your shoulder relaxed and your elbow locked, and your palm facing to the left. Now make a fist, and then rotate your wrist inward as far as you can until you feel a nice stretch in the back of your arm. Hold this for 15 seconds. It should seem like you're pouring something out onto the ground. After 15 seconds, release, and then repeat with your left arm. Bring your left arm up at shoulder height, keep your shoulder relaxed, your elbow locked, make a fist, and then rotate inward as far as you can. Once again, this is just like you're pouring something out onto the ground with your left arm. And after 15 seconds, come in, release, finish with that stretch. Next, place your arms on your armrests. Just two more moves and we're done. For this one, we're just gonna be twiddling our thumbs. Interlace your fingers in front of your body and begin twiddling your thumbs forward. And we're gonna do 10 repetitions. Keep your thumb straight. After 10, reverse and go backward 10 times. After 10, you're finished. Release your hands. Last move. Extend your right arm back up to shoulder height, keeping your shoulder relaxed, your elbow straight. Turn your palm so it's facing the ceiling, and then reach under your right hand with your left hand and grab your right thumb and palm. And then slowly turn your right hand until you feel a good stretch and hold it here for 15 seconds. This is stretching the muscles in your thumb, your wrist, and your forearm. After you're finished, release your hold in your right hand and relax that arm, and do the same with your left hand. Keep your arms straight and your palm up, and it's just a gentle twist using your right hand to pull your left hand under until you feel a stretch, and hold it here for another 15 seconds. When you're finished, release the hold in your left hand and relax that arm. And there you have it, you're finished with the Carpal Tunnel Syndrome Solution Program brought to you by us here at the Carpal Tunnel Institute. Stick to the schedule included on the inside of your DVD case and we wish you the best of luck. Okay, first sit up nice and straight, and we're gonna inhale and exhale, and as you exhale, allow your head to rotate forward down into your chest. You get a nice stretch in the back of your neck. And then inhale and exhale as you roll your head onto your right shoulder. And we're gonna roll our heads all the way around our body, one movement at a time. So inhale, exhale, and just roll your head back far enough to look up at the ceiling and be careful not to go too far back. Whew. 
and then return your head to a neutral position. Now we're going to repeat the same thing, except we're going to go in the other direction. Return to a neutral position. Okay, for the next stretch, simply take a nice deep breath, sit up straight, and now allow your head to slump forward as you exhale. And we're going to hold in this position for 10 seconds. You should feel a nice stretch along the back of your neck. Breathe the whole time. After 10 seconds, come up and out of it, and now we're going to do the same thing on our right shoulder. Remember to breathe the whole time. You should feel a really nice stretch along the side of your neck. After 10 seconds, come out of it. Now one more side. Just allow the natural weight of your head to stretch the side of your neck. You should feel it all the way down into your shoulder. After 10 seconds, come out of it, and we're done with that stretch. For the next stretch, we're going to take a couple deep breaths and sit up nice and straight to lengthen our spine. And then we're going to use our hands and while allowing gravity to pull your chin down into your chest, apply just a bit of pressure to the back of your head with your hand to create a nice stretch along the back of your neck and across your shoulders. And we're going to hold this for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, come out of it. And now we're going to do the same thing, only this time use your other hand. Take a deep breath. Fifteen seconds is up. Get released and return to a neutral position. Now sitting up straight, reach your left arm down toward the floor like this. And if you can, hang on to the bottom of your chair. Now with your right hand, take a breath and exhale slowly as you gently pull your head toward your side until you feel a nice stretch along the left shoulder and the left side of your neck. Now hold here for 15 seconds total. And remember to breathe the entire time. After 15 seconds, release, now repeat with your left side. So hang on to the bottom of your chair or just reach your right hand down, pull your head toward your left shoulder, hold here for 15 seconds. And don't forget to breathe. After 15 seconds, release and return to the neutral position. Thank you for trying our bonus neck and shoulder strain stretches. We find that these stretches do relieve most common types of neck and shoulder strain, and we wish you the best of luck.